Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. The adiabatic theorem is a concept in quantum mechanics. Its original form, due to Max Born and Vladimir Fock, 1928, was stated as follows. A physical system remains in its instantaneous eigenstate if a given perturbation is acting on it slowly enough and if there is a gap between the eigenvalue and the rest of the Hamiltonian spectrum. In simpler terms, a quantum mechanical system subjected to gradually changing external conditions adapts its functional form. But when subjected to rapidly varying conditions, there is insufficient time for the functional form to adapt. So the spatial probability density remains unchanged. Adiabatic pendulum at the 1911 Solvay conference. Einstein gave a lecture on the quantum hypothesis, which states that E equals nh nu for atomic oscillators. After Einstein's lecture, Hendrik Lorentz commented that classically, if a simple pendulum is shortened by holding the wire between two fingers and sliding down, it seems that its energy will change smoothly as the pendulum is shortened. This seems to show that the quantum hypothesis is invalid for macroscopic systems, and if macroscopic systems do not follow the quantum hypothesis, then as the macroscopic system becomes microscopic, it seems the quantum hypothesis would be invalidated. Einstein replied that although both the energy E and the frequency nu would change, their ratio E nu would still be conserved, thus saving the quantum hypothesis. Before the conference, Einstein had just read a paper by Paul Ehrenfest on the adiabatic hypothesis. We know that he had read it because he mentioned it in a letter to Michelle Besso written before the conference. Diabatic versus adiabatic processes at some initial time, T0, a quantum mechanical system, has an energy given by the Hamiltonian h caret t0. The system is in an eigenstate of h caret t0. Le bulb psi, x, t mi Changing conditions modify the Hamiltonian in a continuous manner, resulting in a final Hamiltonian h caret t1 at some later time t1. The system will evolve according to the time-dependent Schrodinger equation to reach a final state psi, x, t1. The adiabatic theorem states that the modification to the system depends critically on the time tau equals t1 minus t0 during which the modification takes place. For a truly adiabatic process, we require tau infinity. In this case, the final state psi, x, t1, will be an eigenstate of the final Hamiltonian h caret t1 with a modified configuration. Psi, x, t1, 2 is not equal to psi, x, t0, 2. The degree 2, which a given change approximates an adiabatic process, depends on both the energy separation between psi, x, t0, and adjacent states, and the ratio of the interval tau to the characteristic time scale of the evolution of psi, x, t0, for a time-independent Hamiltonian, tau int equals 2 pi slash e0, where e0 is the energy of psi, x, t0. Conversely, in the limit tau 0, we have infinitely rapid, or diabatic passage, the configuration of the state remains unchanged. Psi x t1 2 equals psi x t0 2. The so-called gap condition, included in Born and Fox's original definition, given above, refers to a requirement that the spectrum of h caret is discrete and non-degenerate, such that there is no ambiguity in the ordering of the states. One can easily establish which eigenstate of h caret t1 corresponds to psi, t0. In 1999, J, E, Averin, and A, Aylgart reformulated the adiabatic theorem to adapt it to situations without a gap. Comparison with the adiabatic concept in thermodynamics, the term adiabatic is traditionally used in thermodynamics to describe processes without the exchange of heat between system and environment. See adiabatic process. More precisely, these processes are usually faster than the time scale of heat exchange. For example, a pressure wave is adiabatic with respect to a heat wave, which is not adiabatic. Adiabatic in the context of thermodynamics is often used as a synonym for fast process. The classical and quantum mechanics definition is instead closer to the thermodynamical concept of a quasistatic process, which are processes that are almost always at equilibrium i.e. that are slower than the internal energy exchange interactions timescales, namely a normal atmospheric heat wave is quasi-static, and a pressure wave is not. Adiabatic in the context of mechanics is often used as a synonym for slow process. 
In the quantum world, adiabatic means, for example, that the time scale of electrons and photon interactions is much faster or almost instantaneous with respect to the average time scale of electrons and photon propagation. Therefore, we can model the interactions as a piece of continuous propagation of electrons and photons, i.e. states at equilibrium, plus a quantum jump between states, i.e. instantaneous. The adiabatic theorem in this heuristic context tells essentially that quantum jumps are preferably avoided, and the system tries to conserve the state and the quantum numbers. The quantum mechanical concept of adiabatic is related to adiabatic invariant. It is often used in the old quantum theory and has no direct relation with heat exchange. Example system simple pendulum as an example. Consider a pendulum oscillating in a vertical plane. If the support is moved, the mode of oscillation of the pendulum will change. If the support is moved sufficiently slowly, the motion of the pendulum relative to the support will remain unchanged. A gradual change in external conditions allows the system to adapt such that it retains its initial character. The detailed classical example is available in the adiabatic invariant page in here. Quantum harmonic oscillator, the classical nature of a pendulum precludes a full description of the effects of the adiabatic theorem. As a further example, consider a quantum harmonic oscillator as the spring constant K is increased. Classically, this is equivalent to increasing the stiffness of a spring. Quantum mechanically, the effect is a narrowing of the potential energy curve in the system Hamiltonian. If K is increased adiabatically, dK dt0 backslash textile backslash left, backslash frac k backslash to zero backslash right. Then the system at time t will be in an instantaneous eigenstate psi t of the current Hamiltonian h caret t corresponding to the initial eigenstate of h caret zero. For the special case of a system like the quantum harmonic oscillator described by a single quantum number, this means the quantum number will remain unchanged. Figure one shows how a harmonic oscillator initially in its ground state, n equals zero, remains in the ground state as the potential energy curve is compressed, the functional form of the state adapting to the slowly varying conditions. For a rapidly increased spring constant, the system undergoes a diabatic process, dk dt infinity, backslash textile backslash left, backslash frac d backslash to backslash empty backslash right, in which the system has no time to adapt its functional form to the changing conditions. While the final state must look identical to the initial state, psi t, 2 equals psi 0, 2, for a process occurring over a vanishing time period, there is no eigenstate of the new Hamiltonian, h caret t, that resembles the initial state. The final state is composed of a linear superposition of many different eigenstates of h caret t, which sum to reproduce the form of the initial state. Avoided curve crossing for a more widely applicable example. Consider a two-level atom subjected to an external magnetic field. The states, labeled 1 and 2 using bra, ket notation, can be thought of as atomic angular momentum states, each with a particular geometry. For reasons that will become clear, these states will henceforth be referred to as the diabatic states. The system wave function can be represented as a linear combination of the diabatic states. Psi equals C1, T, 1 plus C2, T2. With the field absent, the energetic separation of the diabatic states is equal to omega zero. The energy of state one increases with increasing magnetic field, a low field seeking state, while the energy of state two decreases with increasing magnetic field, a high field seeking state. Assuming the magnetic field dependence is linear, the Hamiltonian matrix for the system with the field applied can be written H equals mu B T, minus omega zero slash two AA asterisk operator. Omega zero slash two minus mu BT, where mu is the magnetic moment of the atom, assumed to be the same for the two diabatic states and it is some time independent coupling between the two states. The diagonal elements are the energies of the diabatic states, E1, T, and E2, T. However, as H is not a diagonal matrix, it is clear that these states are not eigenstates of H due to the off-diagonal coupling constant. The eigenvectors of the matrix H are the eigenstates of the system, which we will label phi 1 T and phi 2 T with corresponding eigenvalues epsilon 1 T equals minus 1 2 for 2 plus 
omega zero minus two mu b t. Two epsilon two t equals plus one two. This is a a veal call me then veal me b d veal. It is important to realize that the eigenvalues epsilon one t and epsilon two t are the only allowed outputs for any individual measurement of the system energy, whereas the diabatic energies E1, T, and E2, T correspond to the expectation values for the energy of the system in the diabatic states 1 and 2. Figure 2 shows the dependence of the diabatic and adiabatic energies on the value of the magnetic field. Note that for non-zero coupling, the eigenvalues of the Hamiltonian cannot be degenerate, and thus we have an avoided crossing. If an atom is initially in state phi 2, T0, in zero magnetic field, on the red curve, at the extreme left, an adiabatic increase in magnetic field, dbdt0, backslash textile backslash left, backslash frac, a backslash to zero backslash right, will ensure the system remains in an eigenstate of the Hamiltonian phi 2, T, throughout the process, follows the red curve. A diabatic increase in magnetic field, dbdt infinity, Backslash textile backslash left, backslash fracky, a backslash to backslash empty backslash right. We'll ensure the system follows the diabatic path, the dotted blue line, such that the system undergoes a transition to state phi 1, T1. Four finite magnetic field slew rates, 0 dB dt infinity, backslash textile backslash left, 0 backslash frac dt, backslash empty backslash right there will be a finite probability of finding the system in either of the two eigenstates. See below. Four approaches to calculating these probabilities. These results are extremely important in atomic and molecular physics for control of the energy state distribution in a population of atoms or molecules. Mathematical statement under a slowly changing Hamiltonian HT with instantaneous eigenstates N, T, and corresponding energies E and T. A quantum system evolves from the initial state psi, 0, equals sigma ncn, 0, n0, to the final state psi, t, equals sigma ncnt, and t, where the coefficients undergo the change of phase cnt, equals c, n, 0, ei theta nt, ei gamma nt, with the dynamical phase theta m, t, equals minus 1 integral 0 tem, t. DT in geometric phase gamma m t equals I integral zero t m t m t dt. In particular, cn t two equals cn zero two. So if the system begins in an eigenstate of h zero, it remains in an eigenstate of h t during the evolution with a change of phase only. Proofs example applications often a solid crystal is modeled as a set of independent valence electrons moving in a mean perfectly periodic potential generated by a rigid lattice of ions. With the adiabatic theorem, we can also include instead the motion of the valence electrons across the crystal and the thermal motion of the ions, as in the Born-Oppenheimer approximation. This does explain many phenomena in the scope of thermodynamics, temperature dependence of specific heat, thermal expansion, melting transport phenomena, the temperature dependence of electric resistivity of conductors, the temperature dependence of electric conductivity in insulators, some properties of low temperature superconductivity optics, optic absorption in the infrared for ionic crystals, Brillouin scattering, Raman scattering deriving conditions for diabatic versus adiabatic passage, we will now pursue a more rigorous analysis. Making use of bra, ket notation, the state vector of the system at time, t can be written psi, t, equals sigma ncn at t, e minus i e n t slash phi n, where the spatial wave function alluded to earlier is the projection of the state vector onto the eigenstates of the position operator psi, x, t, equals x psi, t. It is instructive to examine the limiting cases in which tau is very large, adiabatic, or gradual change, and very small, diabatic or sudden change. Consider a system Hamiltonian undergoing continuous change from an initial value h caret 0 at time t0 to a final value h caret 1 at time t1, where tau equals t1 minus t0. The evolution of the system can be described in the Schrodinger picture by the time evolution operator, defined by the integral equation u caret t, t0, equals 1 minus i integral t0, th caret t u caret t, t0 dt, which is equivalent to the Schrodinger equation.
I del del t u caret t t zero equals h caret t u caret t t zero along with the initial condition u caret t zero t zero equals one. Given knowledge of the system wave function at t zero, the evolution of the system up to a later time t can be obtained using psi t equals u caret t t zero psi t zero. The problem of determining the adiabaticity of a given process is equivalent to establishing the dependence of u caret t1 t0 on tau. To determine the validity of the adiabatic approximation for a given process, one can calculate the probability of finding the system in a state other than that in which it started. Using bra, ket notation, and using the definition 0 is identical to psi t0. We have zeta equals 0 u caret t1, t0, u caret t1, t0, 0 minus 0 u caret t1, t0, 0, 0 u caret t1, t0, 0. We can expand u caret t1, t0, u caret t1, t0, equals 1 plus 1 i integral t0, t1, h caret t, dt plus 1 i, 2 integral t0, t1, dt, integral t0, dt, h caret t, h caret t plus midline horizontal ellipsis. In the perturbative limit, we can take just the first two terms and substitute them into our equation for zeta, recognizing that one tau integral t0 t1 h caret t dt is identical to h is the system Hamiltonian. Averaged over the interval t0 t1, we have zeta equals zero, one plus i tau h, one minus i tau h, zero minus zero, one plus i tau h, zero, zero, 1 minus i tau h, 0. After expanding the products and making the appropriate cancellations, we are left with zeta equals tau 2, 2, 0, h 2, 0, minus 0, h 0, 0, h 0, giving zeta equals tau 2 delta h 2, 2, where delta h is the root mean square deviation of the system Hamiltonian averaged over the interval of interest. The sudden approximation is valid when zeta much less than 1. The probability of finding the system in a state other than that in which its start approaches zero. Thus, the validity condition is given by tau much less than delta h, which is a statement of the time energy form of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Diabatic passage in the limit tau zero, we have infinitely rapid or diabatic passage. Lim tau zero u caret t1 t0 equals one. The functional form of the system remains unchanged. Xi t1, 2 equals xi, t0, 2. This is sometimes referred to as the sudden approximation. The validity of the approximation for a given process can be characterized by the probability that the state of the system remains unchanged. pd equals 1 minus zeta. Adiabatic passage in the limit tau infinity, we have infinitely slow or adiabatic passage. The system evolves, adapting its form to the changing conditions. Xpsi, Tiena, vio ex psi, timiden, vio. If the system is initially in an eigenstate of h caret t0, after a period tau, it will have passed into the corresponding eigenstate of h caret t1. This is referred to as the adiabatic approximation. The validity of the approximation for a given process can be determined from the probability that the final state of the system is different from the initial state. Pa equals zeta. Calculating adiabatic passage probabilities the Landau. Zener formula in 1932, an analytic solution to the problem of calculating adiabatic transition probabilities was published separately by Lev Landau and Clarence Zener for the special case of a linearly changing perturbation in which the time varying component does not couple the relevant states. Hence the coupling in the diabatic Hamiltonian matrix is independent of time. The key figure of merit in this approach is the Landau Zener velocity. VLZ equals del del T2 minus E1 del del Q E2 minus E1 is almost equal to DQ DT, where Q is the perturbation variable, electric or magnetic field, molecular bond length, or any other perturbation to the system. And E1 and E2 are the energies of the two diabatic crossing states. A large VLZ results in a large diabatic transition probability and vice versa. Using the Landau, Zener formula the probability PD of a diabatic transition is given by PD equals E minus 2 pi gamma.
gamma equals a 2 slash del del t, e2 minus e1, equals a 2 slash d cubed dt del del q, e2 minus e1, equals a 2 alpha the numerical approach for a transition involving a nonlinear change in perturbation variable or time-dependent coupling between the diabatic states, the equations of motion for the system dynamics cannot be solved analytically. The diabatic transition probability can still be obtained using one of the wide varieties of numerical solution algorithms for ordinary differential equations. The equations to be solved can be obtained from the time-dependent Schrodinger equation. I C underscore T equals H A T C underscore A T, where C underscore A T is a vector containing the adiabatic state amplitudes. H A T is the time-dependent adiabatic Hamiltonian, and the over dot represents a time derivative. Comparison of the initial conditions used with the values of the state amplitudes following the transition can yield the diabatic transition probability. In particular, for a two-state system, PD equals C2A, T1, 2 for a system that began with C1A, T0, 2 equals 1.